Good morning. We start with breaking news this morning. Crews in Lebanon are on the scene of a deadly house fire. Yeah, I hate to hear this. News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen has been on the scene all morning long. And do they know how this fire began, Alexandra? See, right now they do believe it was an accident. I'm actually here with the assistant fire chief in Lebanon. What happened out here? It does appear to be, through, after our investigation, it is going to be an accidental fire. Uh, we did have a fatality in it. We, we, not, we were told upon arrival that we possibly had someone trapped in the home. Uh, once we arrived, we had a, a house that was about 70 to 80 percent involved already. Um, so we were able to, there was two occupants in front of the house and one occupant in the back. Uh, the two occupants had got out and a passerby had stopped and helped get them out of the home. Uh, we were able to get to the back of the home and keep the fire to the front of the home, um, but the victim still passed with uh, smoke inhalation. And I understand one person was taken to Vanderbilt Hospital. Were they live flighted there? No, I think they were transported. They were in the front part of the home. I think there was some, they had some smoke inhalation. They also had some burns and things like that too. And you guys mentioned you were here in about three minutes and it appeared it was 70 80 to 80 percent involved. Yeah, three to four minutes. We were already had a unit on the scene uh, and we had water on the fire almost immediately. Um, we did have a police officer kick in the back door to gain access because the back door was locked where the victim was at. Um, we then made entry into the back door and were able to keep the fire out of the room that the victim was in. But uh, like I said, we, that she succumbed to uh, smoke inhalation. It's obviously a very really tough morning for you guys. The father and the son, they are both at the hospital. You said just the father was taken to Vanderbilt? It's, we've got conflicting reports. I, I know the father's for sure at Vanderbilt, and the son, I'm not exactly sure where he's located, if he got transported or what. I know he got checked out on the scene, but I don't know if he was transported. I know here behind us the crime tape is up. The investigation has just begun, but you guys, again, believe this was just an accident? Yeah, we absolutely do. Everything points to an accidental fire. Um, Everything as far as our investigation now and now is just trying to get into an overall mode or salvage mode for the family to try to get everything out of the home now that we can get for them so they can save to, from their loved ones. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you guys and all the hard work you do. Back to you guys.